This article covers immediately loaded implants for retaining a lower denture and involving innovative use of telescopic crowns. The most important advantages of telescopic crowns are that they immobilize the restoration very firmly in three dimensions. Their release force is defined, they allow for flexibility of design and are easily accessible for oral hygiene. In most cases, peripheral infiltration anesthesia will persist long enough for the immediate restoration to be placed while the patient is still anaesthetized. The drilling template is then checked for accurate fit. The bone is exposed with an incision made along the crest of the ridge to enable the flap to be adapted safely after the operation. A strip of mucosa is left in place to reduce the extent of the wound. This and the remaining structure also reduce the risk of dehiscence. The alveolar ridge is exposed interforaminally and leveled if required. The drilling template is placed in position and the twist drill used to mark the position of the implant on the bone. This also determines the alignment of the implant. To ensure that the axes of the implant are as parallel as possible, the titanium sleeves in the template should guide the drill accurately. The pilot sights are rinsed. Paralleling pins are used to parallel the implant sights during preparation. The sites are drilled with color-coded interior and exterior irrigated drills. The insertion depth must be calculated to ensure that the implants are placed slightly subcortically. The first stage in preparing the site by hand involves widening it conically. A conical reamer for every type of ankylos implant is available for this purpose. Pressure should not be exerted on the reamer as the blades are designed to pull it into the site by simply rotating it. The safe tip prevents the site being inadvertently deepened. The reamer is also used as a depth gauge. Once the site has been widened, the top edge of the reamer must be approximately 0.5 millimeters below the surface of the bone. If this is not the case, deepen the implant site with the parallel drill used last.
This concept not only meets the medical requirements mentioned at the beginning, but it also saves time. The actual working time required for this restoration was approximately two and a half hours. These views were taken 40 days after placing the implants. This is the case shown in the film. The screw apertures are then sealed with thermoplastic resin. And this is the patient where the non-parallel implants had to be compensated for with angled abutments. Both cases healed wonderfully.